In tonight's Two Americas report, fewer Americans are quenching their thirst with a glass of milk these days. In fact, fluid milk sales are down and have been in decline for years. And the change has had far-reaching impact. 7 Action News reporter Amira David has a look at how the industry is changing its business model and in some cases pushing back. Milk consumption is down 42% from where it was just a half century ago. It's put a squeeze on dairies across the country. Michigan dairy farmers are no exception. Milk crates like these just don't sell the way they used to. It's 100% fluid milk back in the day. Perhaps no one knows that more than Point Dairy Services, a wholesaler established in 1968 that's seen the gallon lose its gain. Now it's been gone to pines and also to, you could even say, a quart like this. Almost every year since 1975, Americans have drunk less cow's milk than the year before, and it's taken a toll. According to the USDA, the number of Michigan licensed dairy farms from 2007 to 2017 dropped by 18 percent, driven by farm consolidation, in many cases because smaller dairies were unable to keep up. You don't have thousands of acres or thousands of cows. It's hard to com compete with those bigger box store numbers. <laughs> That's why it's notable that a small operation like Cook's Farm Dairy is still standing. Now the only dairy in all of Oakland County. What did you do differently than some of the other dairies that once existed? Yeah. Yeah, so in the 80s, my dad added on the dairy where we bottled the milk and made the ice cream fresh right here on the farm. Today, locals flock here to get some of the most sought after ice cream in the area. And it's kept us going all these years. And it's doing the same for this family run dairy distributor. We sold more ice cream for the first time than we sold milk overall in a whole year. So ice cream eclipsed milk sales. Ice cream eclipsed milk sales. Come on through. This is the freezer they've had to expand over the years to keep up with demand, while also diversifying into other forms of dairy and even non-dairy. We're still selling a lot more regular milk, but obviously plant bases is only getting higher and higher. While the vast majority of Americans are leaving fluid milk for beverages like water, coffee and tea, data shows 7% have left for the plant-based alternative, in some cases because they believe it's healthier, which some Michigan farmers like Doug Chapin is pushing back on. And a consumer will grab a plant beverage product thinking they're giving the same nutrition to their household and they're really not. Today, the industry arguing the FDA should prohibit plant-based beverages from marketing themselves as milk at the risk of misleading customers. In the meantime, smaller dairies are trying to stay in business by staying focused on delivering a better quality product. It's the A2, A2 protein that is um, helping people. For Cook's Farm Dairy, it's about evolving its herd into cows that produce A2 milk, scientifically found to be easier for humans to digest, while also continuing to source the best ingredients. We try to do the highest quality that we can so that when the consumer does taste it, they're like, wow, this is this is the top, uh, highest quality you can get around here. I'm Amira David, 7 Action News.